Okay, so here we are. We're going to go set up to do some flying out here where I normally fly. So we're just going to take a quick walk here up to the beach area. Okay, so we're out here on Lake Huron. As you've seen, we did a little bit of walk-up. I've done my maintenance check of the Mavic. I'm going to be using the iPhone 7. So I flew a little bit earlier today on the iPhone 6. And basically, I started out with 100% charge, and in 20 minutes, I was down to zip. So I'm going to try the 7 and see what happens. And um, So anyways, I'm using Leechy. I've already checked hover and everything, so I'm good to go. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to... Uh, take confirm takeoff. Just kind of put it in the air. I've got recording starting. It's a beautiful morning out here. It's about 18 to 20 degrees. And um, basically, I think what I'm going to do is to maybe do a little bit of buoy flying and maybe a little bit of. Uh, um, I don't know. Let's just go see. So. I haven't been out to the buoys in a while, so I'm going to go ahead and take this up. We'll go out and circle the buoy. And... Yeah, bump it around, back around that way. And... Getting out there a bit. We got that sun just on the water. And I need to kind of turn it up a little bit. And we're just kind of catching that water as we go out. And we're getting a lot of glare. Uh, let's see if I can step back into the shade and kind of see what's going on. See where I'm at here. There we go. I can see a little bit better. Not far up off the deck. Ah, there's the buoy. So let's go ahead. And let's go out towards the buoy a little bit. I'm going to take it up a, a little bit. Yeah, we got some interesting views. We got the buoy set. I'm going to take it up a little bit more. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of... I want to gimbal down. And then what I want to do... I'm going to get over that. And then bump it out this way, just a tad bit. Get this centered up a little bit more. And um, kind of nudge it a little bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to FPV. Well, I thought it was going to go out of PV. I want to go into orbit mode. And I'm going to set that as my center. Why is that not setting it at my center? No, that's not what I want to do, folks. Alrighty, so I flipped that back around. So I want to be in. So I want to hit orbit. Why is this not working for me? It worked a little bit earlier. I wanted to do an orbit around this. I've got it set to orbit. Do orbit. And it should set a waypoint or a center point. Well, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I could pinch and zoom the screen for my, my zoom. Now, that's interesting. Okay, so I learned that. I didn't know you could, on Leechy, pinch and zoom the screen. That's all very interesting. Now, that's doing that. Huh. Yeah, I have to go back and look at the instructions. 
because uh, I set it up to do it earlier and all I did was tap the screen and it set a center point and I set my distance. Maybe I've got to do a long hold here. Yeah, guess not. Oh well. That's what I was going to try. So, anyways, uh, I did learn something new. Uh, because I have been using the uh, five, five position stick to do the, the zoom. The 2x zoom. Look at that. That is pretty cool, though. I really do like the zoom. So you can definitely zoom in and zoom out. All right, so uh, I want to take this. Let's, let's mess around with this a little bit more. What the heck? I'm out here. So there we go. I'm. Whoop! Ah, uh, don't overshoot it. And no, I wasn't straight down over it. Maybe, maybe that's what I have to do. Is that what I have to do? Let's, uh, whoops, I'm going to move it back this way. And let me back it up a little bit. Now that is pretty cool. Let's do a digital zoom on it from above like this. Let's see what happens when we zoom in twice. Wow, we can get pretty close to that guy. Look at that from above. Look at those waves. How it's pushing the waves out. That is pretty cool. That is pretty neat. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop, I'm going to stop the video. And I'm going to go into photo settings. Capture mode. I'm going to go to HDR. And I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to capture some HDR of it. See what happens. And we're capturing the HDR. So I noticed that uh, it only works in video, the, the zoom. So, uh, But I should have enough pixels here to really kind of work this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to darken it down a little bit, change my EV down. And do another uh, HDR. I don't know how I don't know how changing the EV is going to affect the HDR because I just started experimenting with the HDR uh, on this. So um, I'm going to do a couple different. Uh, so there's there's zero. So I'm going to go down to to negative one because again that sun is pretty bright out there. That's doing that. I'm going to go back into video mode. So recording started. And, oops, tap, get rid of the camera, settings. All right, so, enough playing with that. We've been hanging around out there for a while. There we go, there's the sun. Let's turn it back around. Bring it back towards us. So there's the lighthouse, and so we're just going to bring it back this way. I do. I, I, I. This because this is a newer iPhone 7s, and I do notice it's depleting the battery rather quickly. And let's just bring it back here. And ooh, that glare really. Glare really hits hard, so let's go ahead and how far am I up? So I'm up about 24 meters. Uh, let's uh, envelope so I can see where everything's at. All right, let's take it. Let's go back down this way a little bit. So let's. Uh, I want to center this up. We got snow on the ground up here. I'm going to stop the video. 
And I'm going to switch back. I'm going to get some HDR of this. Of the bridge and the lighthouse and the paper plant behind it. And I'll take a couple HDR of that. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's finishing up the other HDR. And so I'm going to switch back to video mode. I'm going to start the video re recording going again. And I'm going to take it, turn it this way. And I'm going to bring it back roughly. Hopefully I'm coming back over the land. Whoops. And I'm going to turn it and so I'm perpendicular, somewhat perpendicular to the beach. Bring it out this way. And then what I want to do is just kind of, because I'm up fairly high, so I can just kind of walk it up the, the water. Now, one of the things, well, I, I might try that experiment here in a second, um, when I find a good piece of beach. I was watching Flight Path the other day, and one of the things that he had an ND filter on his uh, Mavic Air, and he was doing kind of longer exposure images to try to get the uh, movement of the water, the motion blur of the water in the picture. And I thought that was actually pretty cool. I do a lot of that in my own still photography, too. And um, I thought it would be something very interesting to try here just by, you know, really cutting down to EV. Now, I've got a lot of sun this morning, so probably not, not the best time to test it. But I think we will give it some tests. And uh, I'm going to order some ND filters. So let's go ahead. And I kind of like this. Because we have kind of like the separation of uh, the two. See how the water's coming up further on the jetty one way? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see if I can't. Uh, I'm going to rotate this so the jetty's somewhat straight in the picture. I don't want too much of the muddy water. I really want the focus to be on the waves. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my EV all the way down to 3. And then I'm going to drop out of video mode. And what I'm going to try doing is uh, well, I'm going to go to, to, to I'm going to first shoot an HDR. So let's see how the HDR of this with the waves come out because I think it's going to take several different shots and combine them. So as you see, it's really, really dark. So, uh, but I don't. I'm not sure the EV settings are affecting the HDR. Back, and then I'm going to say photo settings, capture mode, and I'm going to say interval. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say capture every five seconds. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start this. So what I'm going to do is capture an image every five seconds. And then what I'm going to do is stack these images. I think go ahead, the, and I'm going to stop my capture here, and I'm going to go back to video, and uh, I'm going to go back out of this menu, close this menu, because what I want to do is I want to bring it back toward. Ah, oh, so still snow up here. This thing's complaining, so I think I'll. Bring it, uh, start bringing it towards home. So I'll go back to FPV and then I'll just bring it home, go home, and this will be easier. I'm not sure I had video recording going the last time. That sucks. Ah, uh, you can see I've got my exposure set pretty high. Let's, uh, run the EV wheel down. And we're right above us. And 
we're coming on down. And I want to step back a little bit as we bring it on down. Bring it on down. There we go. Another great flight over Lake Huron. Stopped the video. No, I think it stopped when it landed. So, all right. So another great flight over Lake Huron of the Mavic. So uh, some great video. Beautiful Saturday morning. A little bit cold, but. Uh, Hey, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch today. I know Stan is going to be Blue Apron, so get you guys in the next video. Cheers.